I was going to say, based on dynamic clustering, uh, quantum clustering, you know, where do you see it evolving in the well, next I'll, five so to I'll 10 years? Well, I'll telling you this story about why I'm excited. Because I think it's evolving to a really, I, I've seen something today I never thought I would see. So I, last night it showed up at 10 o'clock in the evening, and I'm still digesting what I saw. So uh, what I show you, you should take with a grain of salt, but there's no question there's zero chance that I'm wrong in terms of what you'll see. So the way docs like to look at the problem or cancer researchers is they talk about so-called biological pathways. Biological pathways are sets of genes which carry out some process. In the end, all processes are making proteins, but we're not looking at the proteins being made. But we know these sets of genes are functioning together to produce an interesting output. So if I can take the information I have and find a way of saying, oh, so in fact, what I'm seeing is actually predicted by the following set of genes, and I can assign meaningful coordinates to each tumor based on where they are in what that set of genes is doing together. I'm in biospace. A point in that space, depending on how many things, still I'm producing one axis in biospace. And it's representing a process which is happening in the patient where a bunch of genes are telling me something, not one. And that bunch of genes I can look at and ask, what are their properties? What are their common properties? So I will share something with you.